Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome back to This About Ash Figures, bringing you Toy Hunt episode number 289. Yes, we're back at Ross Dress for Less. Their Christmas stock is hitting at all these bargain stores like Ollie's and Ross. So you know we're here trying to find some great deals if we can find them. But before we get to any of that, if you are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It does not cost you anything. And it helps us grow the channel tremendously march to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead, click that bell for notification because that way YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here to the channel like weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Let's see what they have inside. So we've got super loud music going on in the background, but I think it's starting to quiet down a little bit. There's Darwin at $5.99. You know what? I don't have a Darwin. That's enticing at $5.99 right there. Uh, they have them at Ollie's for like, I think it's like $9.99. So they're scooping Ollie's on that one. Uh, down this way, some more basic kind of toys. Nothing collectible that we would be looking to pick up. I do have to talk a little louder than usual here to get over the music. I apologize if it's something that's bothering you. Uh, Transformers. Again, don't know what I'm looking at with Transformers, but there it is right there. Uh, I guess the main thing we're looking for, even though I'm kind of backing off on Joe's, would be finding that three-pack of uh, Vipers would be awesome. Um, again, I for that price, for three of those, I'd be definitely picking that up to still army build a little bit. But I'm trying to back off picking up Joe's on the regular full price. Just again, you gotta gotta cut your gotta keep your collection under control, right? Okay, so Dragon Ball Z looks to be about it. I'm gonna consider picking this up at $5.99. It's a pretty decent deal for a terrible figure, but still, it's it's a character for the X Men. But oh, and actually, there's a there it is $9.99 right there for Masterverse. Um, all right, let's look around a little bit more and see what else we can find. I think we've seen this before at a Ross, but there is the Loki retro card for $5.99. And then just keeping a roll, we got Pudgy Pig here. First time seeing him here, $5.99. Got that on clearance at Target. It's definitely more expensive than $5.99, so didn't quite play the longest game there. Uh, My Hero Academia stuff. Uh, there's actually a lot of stuff out. Um, Demo Bat for $4.99 from Stranger Things. We got Naruto stuff for $14.99. Don't know much about that, but there it is. Um, other than that, looking for Joe's, looking for more Legends, not necessarily seeing any of that here. We got an Electro Pop for $4.99. Um, I think that's going to be about it, though. Got some dinosaurs in here from Jurassic Park. Jesser for $7.99. There you go, sir. Uh, other than that, I think we're going to bounce out of here. I'll look around one more time for any, like, end caps or, like, you know, things like that, but... If I don't show you anything else, there's nothing else to show you. So like I said, I don't collect Transformers. I don't quite know what this is. Uh, let's take a closer look at it here. Autobot Ark, War for Cybertron. That's a big piece, as you can see right here. It's Hasbro, so I don't know what this would normally... Well, here, here's the sticker. It says normally 153, only 60 bucks. So again, this thing looks pretty freaking huge. So mainframe, <laughs> again, I don't know what I'm looking at, but let me know on the below, is that a good deal for this thing, for whatever it is, it's freaking huge. But yeah, decent price on whatever it is. All right, so this is why you gotta check the entire store. This is in the very front by the registers. They have these shoved up here. So $6.99 for the Dark Trooper for credit collection. That's pretty cool. Uh, there are two of that here. And Power Rangers, $6.99. I'm gonna pick that up. It's the only monsters I don't have. Uh, here, $5.99 Power Rangers. More Power Rangers here. Again, I don't Power Ranger, but there they are at that price. We have a Mott Grand Tarkin down to $5.99. Uh, what else is down here? Another Tarkin. Got Chewbacca. The Han Solo for $5.99. So again, good prices if it's stuff that you are collecting for Star Wars. So there's more Dark Troopers. Yeah, so if you're army building Dark Troopers for credit collection, there you go, that's on crazy. the other side, because I'm buying this for my random power. I don't collect Power Rangers unless they're on clearance. I have basically all the monsters. So whenever Target clearance the monsters, I never got this one cheap. So I just kind of have them packed away somewhere, which I try not to do, but the monsters are cool, so whatever. They also have that legacy going on. So last time back at Spirit of Halloween, 50% uh, off. It's uh, November. So this is always the hard thing to do is to pass up on these things when they're so cheap. Uh, cheap, relatively speaking, right? Uh, I just am not going to do it, but it's still always fun to see them here at these prices because what the heck, right? But yeah, I'm not going to not gonna buy any of this stuff. This one's been sold already. <laughs> these trees are probably going to some home with a haunted house, hopefully, in it. But other than that, peace out to Halloween 2023. It's been a good time, but back to the toy hunt. So ducking back into Cedar Crest, I think it was last video they had that end cap of wrestling figures. That's gone. 
So if they moved it or it just got rid of it or it sold or whatever. Uh, other than that, you can see mostly some older stuff. There's a Batista. All those Britt Bakers are still there. Isaiah Cassidy for AEW. Star Wars section. Uh, we got Paz Vizsla and Sabine Wren going on. Uh, we have the Tuscan Warrior and Massive. That's pretty cool looking. Uh, Luke and little baby Yoda still chilling here. There's Ezra. We've seen this at Walmart, I think, before, right? There's another Sabine right there. Um, Indiana Jones map room still here. Mo2 Andra. That thing's old at this point, right? Uh, little baby turtle going on right there. Um, more turtle stuff here. It's carted down this way. Some more of the uh, retro looking movie star ones and the Jesser section. So, uh, slow spin move back behind. This is already on clearance. So, tells you about that. Uh, Transformers. We saw some of those at the discount stores as well. Obviously, different types. But DC looks to still be the same stuff I saw here before. Last time I came, so not a lot of changes. Power Rangers and Joes. But otherwise, there's not really anything new here. So I think we're going to get moving along to another location. Unless I find something chucked on an end cap or something like that that's worth showing. Yeah, but otherwise, let's get moving. So let's look back into Ross over here on MacArthur. And now they have the freaking best action turtles here. So there's Mikey. This is the video game version. So Mikey is here. Let's see if they have all four. Raphael is here, $9.99 for a video game version. Um, let's see, Donatello is here. So all we need is Leonardo, right? Do we get all four? Yeah, there we go. So you can buy all four of these for about 50% off, I guess, what they were at Target uh, here at Ross. So it's kind of cool to see all these turtles. So we're going to lay them out here, get the whole team on display, right? These are just falling everywhere. This place is a mess. There we go. So, Michelangelo, Raphael, Leonardo, and Donnie are all here. So check out There's more Power Rangers here too. So we have a Zeo Cog. I know nothing about the Zeo Cog. Uh, we have another one down there. So I guess they're army builders, right? Uh, we have some pops. We have that Iron Man still sitting here. Here's another. What we got here $5.99 for Dino Red Ranger. I think we saw that one already. Uh, Anakin still down there, Annie. And then we have the Dino Charge Blue Ranger. So, and more Power Rangers hitting Ross with worth checking out if you're a Power Ranger collector. So here at the Mount Pocono Ollies, um, I can't recall his name, I apologize, but somebody did leave a comment saying that within the last uh, day or so, they had Captain America shields here. And I just showed the woman in the front the photo and she said they are sold out. So needless to say, they did not sit here very long. But while we're here, we'll see what else they do have. Looks like a lot of the similar stuff we've seen, of course, in other Ollies. Uh, but I did see one thing over here. I definitely want to show you that I've not seen any Ollies. As they say, all Ollies are not created equal. So uh, it'll be pretty cool to show you this item in a second. Fortunately, it's nothing I'm interested in buying, but it's something different. I haven't seen it Ollies before. And while we're here, you know, we're probably going to go to some other local stores. It's about maybe like a, like a 35, 40 minute ride to get here. So it wasn't too far out of the way. That was a nice day anyway. So yeah, check it out. They have the Fortnite Snake Eyes Katana. So again, nothing I need. Apparently I wanted a shield, <laughs> but I don't need the sword. But that's $9.99, so it's kind of cool to see. Um, got some Jurassic Park down below. We have some Ghostbusters going on there at the trap. But I'll walk around and see if there's anything else I can show you that's worth it, uh, since I'm already here. Uh, back behind, similar stuff. Star Wars Legends. And he lost his head. Uh, Skeletor, I don't think we've seen at any of our local Ollie's. So that's kind of cool to see Skeletor here. That's 10 bucks. Nice round number there. Um, G.I. Joe down below, kind of the building things. Fantastic Four retro card. So again, looks like a lot of stuff we see at home, but I was here anyway, so I thought I'd kind of walk around and show you. So either I'll show you from more, more from this store or we'll see the next location. Look at all these Skeletors. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Seriously, it's what, like over 50 Skeletors? Man, they have this down here. I don't think we've seen that at an Ollie's. Wow, they went 40 for that. That's crazy. It's a lot more expensive. I think it has something to do with Mattel. Then again, though, this is Mattel and it's only 10. So, but yeah, always all sorts of different things you could find at these stores as you walk around. But I think we're gonna move on now. And they do have one of these uh, peg sections here as well, but it's all stuff I get we've seen. Motu, 1599, that's so high. Dungeons and Dragons, 33 quarter. Star Wars, so again, pretty much the typical fare for all these nowadays but all right now we're definitely getting out of here 
and checking at least the Walmart across the street. And I don't know if there might be a Target nearby. We'll check and see if there's any Targets. Uh, I know there's one in, uh, oh, I can't the end of town, but it's nearby in the Poconos. So Tamaqua Walmart, I wasn't gonna film. The main section was kind of dry, but check it out. They have the Super 7 uh, freaking Ultimates. G.I. Joe going on here. So there's Cobra Commander, looks pretty freaking cool. I don't collect this scale. I have some of the other ones, but not too many. Then down there, so the bat looks pretty good too. But again, just not something I'm gonna get into collecting. There's just too many other rabbit holes. But check your Walmart if you're interested and this is pretty cool to see. So I did have a copy of the barcode from this from Jimmy Han Rises. It looked really cool. I'm gonna get that eventually. Uh, it is an exclusive, I believe. I think it's street data to the fifth. Uh, it's not here, but oh, they've limited it other places. So I wonder if they were selling it early. Unfortunately, only one of these is nearby for me. So maybe we'll try to give it a shot and I'll try scanning it and asking to get it out of the back or something later on this video. I don't know, we'll see, we'll try. But if you need the DPCI, where is it? Right there. So there's the DPCI and the information for the retro card. All right, so I'm digging through here at Marshall's over in Allentown and they did have another Giannis here. Um, I was hoping to find some of the other players besides Giannis. Um, or Embiid. I'm not seeing any, so I'm going to dig around a little bit. If I find some more, I'll let you know. I'm not just going to pan over a bunch of stuff that you don't really care about as I look. So if I dig through this thing right here, and if I find something else worth showing you, I will. Um, if I don't, then just know that there's still some Giannis's that are sitting on shelves out there if you go around and look. Horrifying. So here are the Easton Dryland Way Target, and we're looking for the Moon Knight. Uh, I want to get that retro card. I never had the Walgreens exclusive, and it's basically the uh, the same thing, I think, uh, with an extra head. That with the I think it comes with the head that I wanted to actually have from that Spider-Man wave from years ago. But yeah, we're gonna look around see if we could find it. So I show you the Star Wars section on the way over. Nothing jumping out of me crazy here. Just kind of stuff, right? There is a toy deal going on though. So if I find it here, I probably will use that twenty five percent off if I can. All right, so main aisle of a very busy Target here in Easton. Not seeing the Moon Knight here, unfortunately. Uh, I am going to go check. I have a barcode. I'm going to go scan that barcode, as I showed you earlier in the video, uh, and see if it'll come up over on the kiosk. And if it does, maybe I will ask and see what the story is. Because the website says it's in stock. I did check on Target app, and it said it was here. Uh, so let's go check the kiosk before I bother a, 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 an employee here to, to look for me to see if it says it's in in stock or not but there's the McFarland stuff that's on clearance transformer stuff but okay let's go check that kiosk all right so it says it's out of stock here uh target app says it is here so i might ask anyway using the dpci so if you wanted the dpci for this there it is right there uh, so i'm gonna go ask an employee anyway i usually don't like to do that but i kind of drove out of the way to get here so let's go see if we can maybe see if the app is right and maybe this is right. all right and success so there you go toy hunters um if an app says it's there, you might as well ask anyway, because again, you saw that the kiosk that it was out of stock and he went right in the back, no questions asked and grabbed it for me. So shout out and thank you to the very helpful Target employee. And there's the barcode if you want it, because I couldn't show it to you because it was on my phone when I scanned it. So I think we're gonna call it a hunt there, everybody. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. And it helps us go to the channel, Chiminously March to 6,000 subscribers. While you're at it, go ahead and click that bell for notifications. That way YouTube notifies you and tells you when we post new content here to the channel, like our weekly toy ants reviews and live streams. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over at Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Hey everybody, if you're going toy hunting this week, please try to remember the three Ps of the toy hunt. Patience, persistence, most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy. I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs. And really quickly, there it is the 25% off. You gotta love saving money on a new figure. Digging it. Use that Target app, folks. Put that coupon right into your wallet.